Mario's proven himself to have all-star caliber skill at a list of sports longer than a towering Babe Ruth stack of beer bottles. Tennis, golf, and racing seem to be the ones he's most popular for, but he's also got more than 20 years of pitching experience. His rookie campaign, 1989's Baseball for the Nintendo Game Boy. And there he is, Super Mario himself. A younger and nimbler Mario. And based on games like Mario Superstar Baseball, uh, which was one of the GameCube's best sports games, and its Wii sequel, which... which was a sequel to one of the GameCube's best sports games, you're probably expecting big things from rookie Mario, but I should warn you, you know, sometimes it takes players a long time to develop their skills, and, you know, you, we do have a minor league. You do know that. Baseball is a top-down retro baseball game, uh, very similar to RBI Baseball and other games of the era. Problem is, it's so crippled, it's barely playable. When you're fielding, that's when it's most evident. I mean, I, I've never seen a baseball game move this slowly. And that slowness is exacerbated by a bad camera. On fly balls to the outfield, the camera takes so long to pan out, you can't even see the fielders you're moving. You kind of just, you just guess. And when you finally get to the ball, it takes like 10 seconds to throw it back into the infield. The AI is another weird issue because the computer doesn't seem to understand the game of baseball. And it's always throwing after the lead runner, even if there's no chance of throwing him out. So, you know, that means RBI singles can be turned into doubles every time. And that's a good lesson, kids. Always hit the cutoff, man. And believe me, there's way more to criticize with this game. I mean, I, I haven't even mentioned the fact that there are only two teams, uh, or that the players have first names only, and that the game only gives you a hitter's batting average, which is incorrectly abbreviated at that. So, not only is baseball an outdated baseball game, it's also a sabermetrician's worst nightmare. Still, the original cartridge version at least supports multiplayer. So if you're able to do multiplayer, a baseball cartridge might be a decent buy, but otherwise, this is a game that struck out a long time ago. Mm -hmm.